Okay, let's take a look at this example. A pair of fair die is rolled once. Suppose that you lose $11 if the die sum to 7 and win $13 if the die sum to 4 or 12. How much should you win or lose if any other number turns up in order for the game to be fair? So the key idea here is to make the game fair. Well, when we talk about fair game, we're pretty much talking about neither win or loss. So you want to think of it as uh, your expected value of this random variable x is going to be zero to make the game fair. So uh, we're working with this um, experiment. Two, two dice are rolled. So we know our sample space consists of 36 outcomes. So you can either get one, one, or one, two, one, three, and so on. So let me show you the sample space. So here I have all possible outcomes for you. So you can see sample spaces consist of these outcomes. So either you can get a one on the first die or one on the second or two on the first, one on the second and so forth. So you get all of these outcomes. So once you have this in mind, now we're saying that uh, let's use the random variable X to stand for the amount payoff. So that X is our random variable stands for payoff. Uh, amount. We're told that if you um, if you if the dice turns up seven, you lose eleven dollars, and then if you if the dice shows some shows four or twelve, you win thirteen dollars. So the possible values x can take would be a uh, negative eleven because you lose eleven dollars or 13, you gain $13 or win $13. So we want to make this game fair. So what happens if some other number turns up? So let's create a table. So here's our X row right here. And then here we're going to have their probabilities. And X is going to take the value negative 11, uh, 13. And there's also going to be one unknown for the last uh, possible outcomes. So let's put this as a question mark. So the so probability that we went, we lose uh, $11, that's going to be, uh, so we see how many outcomes gives us some to be seven. So this will give you some to be seven, this as well, so as this, so along this diagonal. These are the uh, six outcomes you have when the sum is seven. So the probability that you're going to lose $11, it's gonna be six out of 36. So the number that goes here will be six out of 36. Similarly, probability that you're going to win $13, X is 13. Well, we win $13 if the dice sum to four or 12. So four would be, um, right here, right here, and right here. So they sum to four and or 12, 12 is only this outcome. So there is four outcomes for that event. So we have four out of 36 options. So the probability of winning $13 is four out of 36. Now, what about the rest? So the ones that are not sum to be seven or four or 12. So ignoring these outcomes, the rest are um, going to give us other uh, possible outcomes. So six plus four, that's 10 of them. So out of the 36, there are 10, be 36 minus 10, that's 26 over 36. So that's for the remaining outcomes of this event. Now we wanted to know what is the amount for those uh, outcomes so that the expected value is zero. So we can solve it as, uh, let's put a variable there. Let's say this is going to be um, some, let's call it some y. We're looking for what y is. So whatever that amount is, when you find the expect expected value of this event, we'll get zero. So we know by definition that expected value of a random variable x is simply, so we take negative 11 times 6 over 36. You can simplify the fractions if you like. Then 13 over um, 4 over 36. And of course, why I don't know how much that is. I'm figuring it out. That's 26 over 36. And we want this to equal 0. We want the expected sum of these values to equal 0. So we can solve for this variable y. 
So after doing the calculation, put it in your calculator, you will get y is equal to 7 over 13. In other words, this is about 0.538 or 54 cents. You can think of it that way. So you can think of it as this is 0 0.54 cents. So we know y has to be, or that component, this has to be 0 0.54 in order to make this game fair because we'll get expected value to be zero.